Two doors, lots of style, lots of luxury, and lots of speed. That's what we're talking about in today's video. These are the traits of a classic showstopper. As the show doesn't end on the outside, it continues on the inside as well. So here are five luxury coupe showstoppers under 50 grand. Also, I'm going to say coupe like coupe because here in America, we don't have an accent on it. So heads up to anyone who's already commenting coupe, okay? You know, I'm going to say coupe. Anyways, the BMW M6 coupe. Lower, wider, and longer. That's the formula for a car of incredible show-stopping looks. The BMW M6 is personally my favorite modern BMW, and its style is so unique from other blocky BMWs and their traditional formula, it makes for nothing short of a head-turner. From 2012 onwards, the M6 abandoned the unreliable but sexy sounding V10 in favor of a twin-turbo V8. What this means for you though is better gas mileage, more power, and better reliability. The 2012 models make for a whopping 560 horsepower and 503 pound-feet of torque that will scoot the coupe from 0 to 60 in just 3.7 seconds. The Grand Coupe and Convertible will get 3.9 and 4.2 seconds respectively, so if you're all about speed and presence, you'll have to go with the regular coupe, and it's at this point that I remembered that this video is only about coupes anyway, so I don't know why I mentioned the 4-door Grand Coupe, because who needs 4 doors anyways? It's all about that 2-door life. So for around 38 to 60 grand, you can find used M6s that suit your taste, and trust me, those prices are much better than what this monstrous beauty retailed for, so be grateful for every single penny this car is worth. Lexus RCF Perhaps the best looking Lexus that most people can afford, aside from the LC500 and LFA because those aren't exactly attainable cars for most people, but trust me, the RCF is plenty a looker, and if nothing else, it's special in its own way. You can find used ones from 2015 for 42 grand, and what you'll get is 467 horsepower from a 5 liter V8 that rips its way from 0 to 60 in just 4.2 seconds. With the car's wide stance, massive front grille, beefy 3,900 pounds, and beautiful V8, this is an absolute love letter from Japan as to what their version of a muscle car should be. And with just a little bit of American Lexus put into the mix, in a way it kind of is a muscle car since it is rear wheel drive as well. I'm just joking of course, don't put me on a stake, I know this isn't actually a muscle car, but let's be real, it ticks off all the check boxes that define a muscle car according to Merriam-Webster. But blade it, I thought you said you hated Merriam-Webster's definition of muscle. You're right, I do, which is why I realized that everything I just said has become null and void, so blah blah blah, moving on to the next entry. Guess what I'm gonna say about this car? Just kidding, don't bother, cause you already know it's gonna be about the LS. Except this time, what if we threw a prettier badge and lots more luxury? Now that's one hell of a ride. Rear wheel drive and all of that made it to a 6 speed manual. This car's for the no nonsense car guy, and at the prices these cars are going for these days, being around 15 to 20 grand, they're very attainable. Since the LS engine is sturdy as hell, these cars are also relatively easy to maintain, thus making it perfect for the money conscious buyer watching this video. Again though, be prepared for a no bars held, balls to the wall ride because this car does sacrifice some luxury for a whole lot of character, and you better be prepared to control every single ounce of that character. If you're looking for an affordable brand new luxury coupe, then look no further than Infiniti Q60. Their brand new MSRP is $39,950 making it the only car on this list that can be bought under 40 grand brand new. Since the other cars on this list are, well, let's just say rather expensive MSRP wise. If you want a faster Q60, like 400 horsepower fast, then you have to spend upwards of 52 grand on the 3 liter twin turbo red sport. But good news, you can find used 2017 ones in a lower 40 grand. So if you could care less about having a brand new car and would rather have performance, then go spend that cash on the Red Sport version instead and get yourself a car that can do 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds thanks to its twin turbocharged 3 liter V6 engine. This car boasts modern style, reliable design, and high performance, making it one of the most well-rounded cars in all departments. And I still have a list by the way that probably hopefully goes away soon, this is getting pretty annoying actually. Uh, screw a bailify. Anyways, moving on to honorable mentions. Only one car this time in the honorable mention sections, and here it is the Mercedes S63 Coupe. It's way too expensive to make this list, 
but if the M6 is on here, I had to put it on somewhere, otherwise the Mercedes fanboys would, you know, get all mad and stuff, but it is retaining its value better than the M6, so maybe in a way, the M6 is worse. Just kidding, no, it's not. It's always going to look better. I'm a BMW fan. Screw you, Mercedes. Anyways, <laughs> Porsche 911. That is the final car on this list. Does anyone remember this car? Of course they do. By now they do, because it used to be everyone tried to forget this car, and people like me used to meme the crap out of it. Kind of some background on why it was forgotten. No one really liked the 996 generation. It strayed away from Porsche's known formula. But like anything else in the world, it only takes money to convince people. So once the prices of these bad boys started to go down, the public opinion started to go up as people began to realize how much of a bargain for performance these cars were. If you just want a basic 911, you can find one for as low as 20 grand now. But let's be real, what y'all came for and what y'all waited for on this video was the beefy 911 Turbo. The 911 Turbos come with all-wheel drive, 415 horsepower, and they can do 0 to 60 in just 3.8 seconds, making it the fastest car on this list, but also the most expensive, as it will be right at the 45 grand mark. Sometimes you will find higher mileage models that will dip below 40 grand, but keep in mind they won't stay long. Other than that though, that's going to be it for this video. If you can't get enough of cheap cars and various car videos, then make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe for future uploads. And with that said, thanks for watching and see y'all next time, Blade Angel out.